shocking body camera video shows the moments leading up to a suspect allegedly stabbing a police officer during a mental health disturbance. It happened on October 13th in Dayton, Ohio. That's when officers received a mental health call about 29-year-old Tyler Patrick. Am I feeling it? Are you off your meds? Mm -hmm. We've talked before, remember? Responding officers spoke to Patrick and his mother for nearly 15 minutes, working to resolve the problem. Are you feeling like homicidal, suicidal? I don't know how I'm feeling right now. Okay, well that's why I'm here to talk to you. Patrick's mother told officers he had several mental health diagnoses and was experiencing delusions. Do you want me to ask mom? What's going on, mom? She's saying, I'm, I don't know. She's delusional. Okay. She's delusional. And you have a history yeah. of that? Mm -hmm. I don't, I don't, no, I don't. No, I don't. Patrick eventually told officers he believed someone was inside the home. You're scared because you hear people in your house. Okay, yeah. I understand that. Yeah, that's 100% what it is. Okay. Officers tried multiple times to de-escalate the situation and take Patrick to a nearby hospital. Your Plain mother simple. is worried about you. She's not worried. She's oh, ignoring she's everything not around because she's trying to get me set okay. up. Because you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. I don't feel safe with, with your medication. Anymore. His mother repeated she did not feel safe with Patrick in her home. Tyler, you can't stand this house with me no more. I can't do this anymore. No your more. mother's afraid. I'm, I, so you I gotta be afraid safe. of me? Yes. Officers eventually admitted they did not hear voices in the home and planned to escort Patrick to get medical help. Mom wants to help, dude. We want to help you, okay? You need the help. As officers approached, Patrick lunged toward them. And we don't want to take you out of here. That's it. Please. Okay. And I mean, please. All right, let's go. Come on, come, come on, please. Let's go. Several officers wrestled Patrick to the couch where he pulled out what appeared to be a knife. Oh. Oh. He's got a knife! He's got a knife! Patrick then allegedly stabbed Officer George Cluse in the neck. He now faces charges of aggravated felonious assault. A spokesperson for the Dayton Police Department said the responding officers acted appropriately, working to de-escalate the situation with patients. Officer Kloos was taken to a nearby hospital and was treated for the stab wound. He has since been released and is expected to make a full recovery. For the latest developments in this case and all things true crime, stay with Long Crime Network. I'm Sierra Gillespie.